Thank you all for tuning in today. My name is Magdalene Payne, and I will be presenting work completed by our team here in Ottawa, investigating a validation of gynecologic diagnostic codes in the Canadian Institute for Health Information Discharge Abstract Database. Myself nor my colleagues have anything to disclose. Today I will review data validation as it pertains to diagnostic codes for benign hysterectomy in a routinely collected database, and I will identify the role for these data in future research. Hysterectomy is among the top 10 surgical procedures performed in Canada and is the most frequently performed gynecologic operation. It is so common that it is featured on the cover of the majority of Williams Gynecology textbooks. Hysterectomy is performed for a variety of reasons, whether they be benign or malignant diagnoses or acute or chronic conditions. Using large data sets, we have been able to investigate a number of ideas relating to gynecologic surgery in Canada, including rates of disease or treatment, technicity and routes of surgery, complication rates, and variations in regional practices. These studies often use routinely collected data, which are robust sources of data but are not initially collected for research purposes. An example of one such database is the Kaihai Discharge Abstract Database, which has captured administrative, clinical, and demographic information on all hospital discharges since 1963. The Kaihai DAD uses ICD-10 codes to document diagnoses and CCI codes to document procedures. However, these data may be prone to error as they were not initially intended for research purposes. Validity of data should be established to ensure quality literature. Measurements of quality typically include sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive values, and the kappa coefficient, which is a measure of inter-rater reliability. My colleague, Dr. Vanessa Bacall, previously investigated the use of CCI procedural codes for types of hysterectomy within the Kaihai DAD. Overall, she identified a high level of validity across all types of hysterectomy. Building off of prior findings, then, the objective of this study is to investigate the validity of ICD-10 diagnostic codes associated with hysterectomy in the Kaihai DAD. Simply put, are the documented diagnoses for benign hysterectomy valid? This was a retrospective study identifying all gynecologic procedures at the Ottawa Hospital between 2016 and 2017. Data were then extracted for analysis. Baseline characteristics of identified cases were compiled and a team of six medical students re-abstracted information from over 1,000 patient charts. These data were then used as a comparison against database documented diagnoses. Over 1,000 gynecologic procedures were performed at the Ottawa Hospital between 2016 and 2017, 649 of which were hysterectomies. The proportion of associated diagnoses was reflective of the general population. When we looked at the validity of fibroid codes, we found the sensitivity, or the ability to detect cases, was 82%, while the specificity was 96%. This means that not all fibroid cases were detected, but when a case was identified as a fibroid case, it most likely was. Our kappa statistic was high, giving an almost perfect agreement. For abnormal uterine bleeding, we identified a sensitivity of 51%, a specificity of 99%, and a strong kappa agreement. Cases of pelvic organ prolapse had overall a very high level of validity, with a sensitivity of nearly 91%, a specificity of 98%, and a kappa statistic that was near perfect. For cases identified as endometriosis, we found a sensitivity of 75%, a specificity of 95%, and a strong kappa agreement. And finally, for chronic pelvic pain, we found a sensitivity of 51%, a high specificity of 99.6%, and a strong kappa agreement at 0.6%. Across all diagnoses, we did see a high degree of validity, showing a moderate to near-perfect level of agreement for our kappa statistic and fairly high predictive values across all diagnoses. Overall, the sensitivity was variable, so not all cases were consistently captured, but our specificity was consistently high, suggesting low false positive rates. We found that for obvious structural diseases, we were more likely to have higher measures of validity than with functional diagnoses. So to conclude, this is the first assessment of diagnostic codes within the Kaihai DAD for benign hysterectomy. We overall found a very high level of validity, aligning with our prior procedural code validation findings, implying that the use of ICD-10 codes for benign gynecologic diagnoses in the Kaihai DAD are valid and appropriate for future research. Thank you all for your time, and I would like to acknowledge all of my team members, and I'd like to open the floor to any questions.